Hello, Gemini. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose. This is Delilah Spirit Spot coming with your we uh, weekly reading for October 4th through the 10th, 2021. Let's jump right into it. Things look a little different. I have a new spirit board here, which I absolutely love. My niece um, custom made it for me. So let's just get into it. Remember, this is for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. We will start with your Ascendant Master or Archangel Guidance. Um, first, we have Horus, clear seeing, intention, perspective, and that's the word I want. Mother Mary, conception, uh, purity of heart, and faith. So, um, I think we need to look at our perspective on things. I think we need to um, have that hangman um ability to look at things differently. I think that many of us are accustomed to looking at things the same way and change is hard. Um, but I think we need to go with it and just change our attitudes towards certain things. Um, we, we also have Mother Mary here. And I think that we need to work on our faith here. Look me who popped up, the magician. A magician before us remember i just said that change is hard i think that you are seeking um things to be the same you're very nostalgic at this time and i think that nostalgia is causing a blockage you need to understand that you're the master of your fate we can't turn back the hands of time but we can make the best of what we have things are fluid time is fluid you know um and i think that that's what you need to embody the magician creates his own reality through alchemy, but he also changes with the times. You also have the two of swords here. Let's just draw the rest of the cards. This is who you need to be right now. That's the queen of swords, the master of your own fate. We have three of wands above you. We have seven of pentacles. Here's the <laughs> hermit. I knew you were going to pop out. Uh, and you have the star card at the bottom. This is a very good read. I think we need to come out of our own way here. I think that you being the queen of swords that you're contemplating and you're, you're, you're trying to come up with a plan of attack, I think you need to look at things from a different perspective. And I think you need to be more fluid because what was is no longer. Um, being the magician, you need to adjust to the times. Um, and still be the master of your fate, right? So we adjust and then we create, and that's who you need to embody. With the two of swords being over here, it's time to compromise. It's time to look at things from a different perspective and compromise and understand that, again, it's a different time, right? And we need to just go with the flow, for lack of a better word. I love this. Um, and I feel like this is your attitude for most of the week, trying to be this queen of swords. Um, you could be gentle or you can be fierce. You know, it's it's based on the circumstances. You know, the queen of swords is very self-sufficient. She's very honest. And I think that honesty needs to be honest with yourself uh, as well as honest with other people. You know, you do want different things, right? And that's represented here by the three of wands. You know, there's certain things that you want um, and there's certain things you want to accomplish. I, I feel like moving is something that's heavily on your mind. Um, and I think that maybe you should try to work towards that if that's your goal, right? Um, but again, baby steps, changing with the time, using your resources as that queen of swords to put your energy into a move, right? And that takes going within and looking at things from a, you know, a different way. Seeking the answers from your higher power, this intuition, the clear seeing, um, with Mother Mary's purity of heart and having faith that things are going to work out. I mean, it looks like things are going your way here. Wishes are granted with that star card. You know, you'll be able to plant some seeds and maybe see some growth, but you know, Again, the seven of pentacles is also changing your way of how you accomplish your goals. So I think once you become fluid, 
Um, really take time to think about what it is you want. Set your intentions towards that goal. Have some faith. Um, I think you can totally get what you want in life. Uh, this is a great read. Yeah, let's give you some oracle cards. Let's see here. Great reading here. It's hard. Change is hard. You know, we like what we like. Humans are creatures of habit. Um, and it's hard, it's hard to have that change. But change is uh, sometimes very good. It's very good. Uh, we have the medicine woman, heal. I nurture and nourish my mind, body, and soul through the change. Being this queen of swords, looking at things from a different perspective, having faith, purity of heart. That embodies this whole card here. Two cards. You have the love of Zeus, lovers. The cosmic union is destined for greatness. This is you in union with your faith is destined for greatness, but it's blind faith, right? And taking the cues from spirit and and trusting your choices. You have the Holy Child. I love that Mother Mary's here. You have the Holy Child. Um, I am a divine child of the universe. We are. We are all children of the divine. Um, and this is your reading, uh, Gemini. And I'm Delilah Rose. This is Delilah's Spiritual Spot.